Hello everyone, Carlos from Verona Boxing here. Excuse the appearance, I'm a little bit sweaty after working out. But I want to share with you some tips for working the bag, yeah? So these are some of the things, some of the techniques that I like to use when I'm on the bag. When I get on the punch bag, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I assess. So every time I'm preparing to throw a punch, I want to make sure that I'm in the right position. There's different types of stances that you can use. The main thing you have to remember is to have your lead hand or your front hand, which is your weaker hand in front, yeah? My power hand's gonna be at the back. So to ensure that I'm in the right position, I go feet shoulder width apart. I take one step forward like this, make sure there's a gap between my feet so that I'm able to shift my weight either leg like so when I'm slipping punches. I don't wanna be too, too side on. So when I slip, I'm gonna be as if I'm on a skateboard, I'm gonna go off balance, yeah? I wanna be here. I want to make sure my lead shoulder, which is the front shoulder, is going to be in front. Now, there's different types of guards. You've got your high guard, where your hands are super high, but that can leave you exposed to the body. You've got the mid-range guard, which is kind of here. Your hands are in the middle, okay? That protects more of the ribs and the body, but it leaves more of the top of the head exposed, so you're going to have to do a lot of sleeping. You've got the low guard, where your hand's down here, yeah? So, in my boxing stance, I, want, I like to mix it up. I start, usually start off with my mid guard, so I'm here and I shoot the jab. If you notice, I'm in and I'm out. I never stay there. I want to push off the back leg, boom, shoot my punch, push off the front leg to get out. Okay, that's the movement. There, hit, don't get hit. Okay, so hit and move. I'm here, I'm out of range. In range, I'm out. In range, I'm out. Fast, quick, sharp jabs I like to start out with. And then I want to double the jab and then bring the right hand behind it, yeah? So I'm going to double the jab. If you see when I double the jab, I take two steps. You don't always need to do that. If you don't want to take two steps, for example, if your opponent's looking to counter that double jab, you don't want to take two steps, you just go jab, lay back, jab. That's another way to do the double jab. So jab, lay back, jab. You can do jab, move your head, jab. Jab, parry, jab. As long as there's a defense in between the jab, you should not get caught with the counter, yeah? So watch variations of the double jab. Jab, slip, jab. Jab, pull, jab. Step in with a double jab. Jab, catch, jab. So I'm jabbing, catching the opponent's counter jab, throwing my jab. Once I've established the double jab, I want to bring the right hand behind it. This is how I like to start off when I work the bag, just to make sure I'm finding my range. So I want to be out of range, in range, hit, get out of range, don't get hit, yeah? So once I've found my range with the jab, bang, I bring the right hand behind it. So I'm coming here, and I turn my hip, I turn the right hip or the back hip, back shoulder, drive the punch through, my chin tucks in, and I'm protected here. Left guard up, protecting left side of the face, yeah? Watch one more time. Jab, jab, turn. I want to make sure I'm bringing my back foot in. So there, back foot comes in. Back foot comes in, and then turn to the cross, okay? Again, don't do what I did there. Don't bounce around like this. Yeah, you want to, that's, that's, Rhythm stepping, you want to be here, hold your ground solid, okay, step back. Okay, once I've established the right hand, then I begin to get a bit closer, close range, or mid to close range. I start throwing hooks, body shots, and uppercuts, okay? So once you've established the long range punches, jab and across, double jab, cross, and you're slipping between the shots, then you can start working inside. When you're working inside, close range, you want to make sure that you're using different types of defense. The slipping and the catching is really good for being out of range or mid range, but when you get inside, you want to start blocking a lot more. Block, 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 because you're really close to the opponent, yeah? So watch. Now, the double jab is very useful to push the opponent back and to get close to the opponent. Walking straight in like this is called walking in cold. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to walk in cold because that's how you get hit. You want to walk in behind your defense, Slipping, catching, slipping, catching, or you want to walk in behind your punches. You want to jab, slip, jab, cross. If you com combine footwork, attack with the hands, and defense with the hands, you're going to be okay. Yeah, so let's put it all together. So we'll jab. Moving the head, double it up. The double jab on to my right. Double jab on the left. After I've got the double jab, I'm going to bring the cross. I'm gonna get out. I wanna move sides here. Then I'll jump up. Keep your hands up. And then I'm gonna start bringing the hooks. Body shots. 
Long right hand to the body. Down to the foot. Roll. When I'm inside, I want to roll. Because the hooks are going to come my way. Roll. Yeah, when you roll, bend the knees. Roll. Down to the top. Get inside again. Down to the top. Body shot. Again, try and grab body, body, roll, roll, pass, pass, pass. That's some of the combinations I like to use. When I'm in range, I like to use my head movement a lot, a lot of pull back, pull back to me, lay back, and I can counter. So, I'm in range, I pull back, hit the right hand. There, working in range, pull back, shoot the right hand. So, when the front jabs, I pull back, shoot the right hand counter. Those are some of the techniques that I like to use in the bag. I hope that is very helpful. Remember, you first establish your range, move your feet behind the double jab, look to measure the right hand, bang, bang, bang. Once you can land the right hand, start going to the body, bring hooks up top. When you go to the body, make sure you bend the knees. Yeah, bend the knees and then go down. If you punch down like this without bending the knees, you're gonna get clipped. Obviously, you've got your basics, making sure you're rotating the wrist, palm of the hand facing down, shoulder tucked in, okay? Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was very helpful for you guys and continue working hard and always remember to keep the guard up for all times and be ready to bubble, 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 box sale. Peace.